In the East Coast of the United States, we're number one by sales. So right. One of the first things we want to do is let the company know we want them to stay here, we want them to grow here, and we're here to fight to keep them here. Um, there are a lot of challenges. Taxes are, are really very high. We need to do more for small businesses. We need to do more for subchapter less businesses. That's what's in this government's proposal now. We need to help small businesses by lowering their gross income tax. We can be more competitive with states like Pennsylvania, which have a uh, very low um, income tax. It's a tough competitive market, these companies can choose to go anywhere in the world, um, and we want to convince them to choose to stay in New Jersey and grow in New Jersey. Please. Please. Uh, <laughs> what can we do? Um, That's okay. You Hopes. Can, you can yes. Translate. Mm -hmm. That's all right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What other types of services can you guys offer to yeah. uh, Hispanic companies or companies that are a little smaller than this yeah. one? Yeah, because this is a company, it's a medium-sized company, not a mm -hmm. very small company. Because, oh, most, most of the Hispanic companies, I, I would say more than 80% is a very small company, like three or four persons. Micro-businesses. Micro-businesses, yeah. Yes. So what kind of help you can offer? You offer and I also want to add something. 60% of the Latino small business owners are not able to learn in English. For that reason, they expect those services available in Spanish. And that's a major challenge because the other uh, or uh, non-profit organizations that are trying to reach them are not able to do that just because they don't speak the language. There's a couple of different answers to that. First, it's Abraham Lopez is the governor's representative from the Hispanic Center, and Abraham Lopez is here and can, can directly answer any questions. The Business Action Center, which I run directly, just hired a Spanish-speaking person who will be able to take all phone calls. That's the second. The third is my website has a toggle on it that you can trans that automatically translates um, anything on the website into any um, like 150 dialects. Most importantly, of course, is Spanish. So those the, the Business Action Center, and I'll link it to the website. Um, so that's the immediate responses to speak your language literally. And then in terms of programs we have for small businesses, we can put you in touch with any programs that would help a small business of any 